They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad, over here on the other side of Squirrel? My friend Johan sent me this and said, I don't know if this happened before American Idol or if it happened since, but here's a clip of Malachi Bayo. Uh, he was the uh, the young gentleman who got the golden buzzer from Simon Cowell. I did the Britain's Got Talent piece on him last week. And this is 13-year-old Treble, Malachi Boya, I'm sorry, Bayo, sings Virtuosic Mozart in Royal Albert Hall debut, Classic FM. I uh, I love this kid. He's great. Oh, he's got such a bright future ahead of him. He's such a great natural singer, I would say. Um, just uh, the innocence looking in this guy's eyes and, and listening to him sing. It's, it's just so pure and beautiful. It's not, you know, it's not overproduced, not over rehearsed. It's not, it's just, a, I mean, you're about to find out. If you didn't see the other piece with this gentleman in it, you're about to go for a magical ride with a young man who is just a blessing to music. He really is. So um, let's uh, make sure this is turned up so we can check him out and hear him good. And let's sit back and enjoy a little over three minutes of Malachi Bayo. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, I said earlier, like, he's just, he's such a pure soul. I mean, you saw, um, and there's more songs of his coming up. So this kid's been doing this for a while. And he just got noticed on um, on Britain's Got Talent. But apparently, you know, the, I, what, what I love about him is that he keeps hope alive for classical music, opera, things like that. Like, the dying arts in this world, you know, so many people are now more concerned about so many other things that I, you know, you see music kind of falling off, you know, like 
people are walking away from the arts they're walking away from theater you know i mean there's still a lot of people that attend and wrong but i'm saying like it's just like i feel like i know less and less people who give two craps about it and you know uh, especially like opera like classical music i love seeing like when i see artists do an old piece it makes me feel good knowing that they're trying to keep the the, the spirit of that alive and that's kind of what i feel here you, know, you see a 13 year old young man and he's just killed it that was crazy the runs that he does and the way he controls his voice at his age oh man i nothing honestly nothing at all would stop me if he ever came around here to going and just sitting back and listening to his concert oh i would absolutely adore it i really would i would love it special special young man right here very, very special. And he's going to be, I mean, you know, five years from now, and, and you know, I, I, I don't say like by the end of this year or next year, you know, it takes some time, but this guy is going to be everywhere. I think I really, really do. I love this. This is great. Johan, thanks for finding this and sending it over to me, man. I appreciate it tremendously. It's a beautiful piece. Um, you know, the, on top of him being amazing, it's just that whole thing. It started out, you know, the, the, like the, the Albert Hall is like, Oh, the Royal Albert Hall. It's like majestic. It's it's magical itself. That hall is gorgeous. And put the two together. That was lights out great. Beautiful. Man, Malachi, bro. I hope that I hope that everyone around you is is just reassuring you of how just amazing you are. And I you know, I mean you must know. But the humbleness too, like at the end, he turns around and he claps for the, you know, for the orchestra, you know, that's, it's, you know, it seems like he was raised right and he's a good kid, got a good heart, just things like that, you know, and then I love the fist bump with the conductor. I thought that was awesome. So Malachi, man, I, I hope nothing but beautiful things for you in this world, my friend. I really, really do. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I hope you did. I'll probably be doing more of his down the road, I'm sure. Guys, enjoy it. Love it. If you don't love it, it's okay. You don't have to. We're not all going to like the same thing. So we have chocolate and vanilla in this world, as my, my good friend Father Flanagan always reminded me. <laughs> love that guy. Guys be good, all right? Scroll up. <laughs>